Hello students, welcome to your channel. Please like, share and subscribe your own channel, School Studies. School Studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website, Patel section. After years of hard work and dedication, we are delighted to officially announce the launch. Our goal with this website is to provide our students with an easier way to learn the lesson and prepare for exams. Today we will see a video related to GSEP solution class 9 social science chapter 7 post independence India question 1. So let's solve the textbook exercise. The first question is answer the following question in that the first one is explain the briefly about the merge of princely states. So during the independence there were 562 princely states out of them 48% princely states had stakes in the total area of India. Moreover, 20% of India's population resided in these princely states. The princely states included big states such as Kashmir, Hyderabad and Mysore as well as several small states. Some states were as small as village. It was a mammoth task to convince the kings and nawabs of these states to merge with India. India also feared that if the fa if they failed to merge these states with Indian Union, their foreign rulers may again invent these states and later India. It was Sardar Vallabhai Patel who played a heroic and leading role in accomplishing this task. He appealed to the kings and the nawabs of princely state that they should voluntarily give up their respective states in the interest of the subjects and the Union of India. He raised feeling of nationalism in India to reunite it. As a result, kings, rajwadas and nawabs contributed in the making of strong, integrated and prosperous India. Against this, Sardar Patel assured them that their rights and interests will be protected once they merge with India. Sardar Patel and his secretary of the Human Home Department Mr. V. P. Menon prepared the draft for two important documents, namely attachment bond and status quo agreement. They acknowledge the contribution of various kinds in the merge and support for United India. This made the kings happy. Except Kashmir, Hyderabad and Junagadh, 559 princely states accepted these documents and joined the Union of India. The second question is discuss in brief about how are the states of Junagadh and Hyderabad merged into the Union of India. So Junagadh merged into Indian Union on 15th August 1947 the Nawab of Junagadh wrote an, an instrument of accessions to join Pakistan. Pakistan in turn gave them consent. People of Junagadh living in Mumbai established a, a, a Azrim Hukumat in Mumbai. Mangrul and Manawada declared their wish to join the Union of India. Indian soldiers and Navy who were part positioned to protect Manawada and Mangrul besides the Junagar state. The Nawab of Junagar flew to Pakistan. On 9th November 1947, referendum of the people of Junagar was taken. Thus, Junagadh merged with the Union of India was made possible due to the Sardar Patel's tremendous effort for the people of Junagadh. Hyderabad merged into Indian Union. Nizam of Hyderabad with its states from southern part of India declared its independence on 15th August. In Hyderabad won't be able to remain as an independent state due to is surrounding by Indian Union ter uh, territories. Nizam clarified the matter by saying that if the country will be divided, then owing to the ideological reasons, under such circumstances, they would prefer to remain independent. Sardar Patel bluntly stated to the negotiator of the Nizam that people of Hyderabad are eager to agree with the Union of India. Meanwhile, Nizam officers started committing autocracy on the people of Hyderabad. Ultimately, Hyderabad was merged with the Union of India by using police force on 18 September 1948. Nizam surrendered himself. 
Kanya Lal Munshi played a very crucial role in the entire episode. Third question is discuss the process of merge of Goa, Diu and Daman into the Union of India. 15th August 1947, political leaders and Satyagrahis entered Diu and Diu, Daman and Goa. In free Goa agitation, thousands of voluntary died. As attempts such as negotiation, prosecutions, and satyagrahis proved to be unsuccessful, Indian government decided to begin Operation Vijay to liberate Goa. On the midnight of December 19, Governor of Portuguese D. Silva surrendered to the Indian government. Indian army captured Goa, Daman, and Diu and hosted Indian flag there. On 12th March 1962, Goa, Dadar Nagar Haveli, Daman, and Diu were merged with the Union of India. These states were known as Union Territories. On 30th May 1987, Daman and Diu were separated from Goa. So this was question 1 of NC, uh, GACB solution for class 9 social science. I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. Please leave comment, question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us. You will find my email id at the end of this video. You can also join us on Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, connect us on LinkedIn or tweet us on Twitter. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.